Morning guys. So we're back down at Four Winds Farm and uh, the guys have been busy making up the pen here. Uh, it's been a busy week down at the farm. Some ups and downs. So we're about a week on from last time and uh, I said in the last video uh, some a sort of worst case scenario with the carving and uh, was a young heifer with a uh, backwards calf. The farmer had one this week and uh, it didn't go so well. The calf died. So they saw the, they saw the heifer was struggling. They got her in and had a look and uh, instantly the farmer knew they had a problem. So uh, he could tell straight away how big the calf was and he knew instantly it wasn't going to be uh, straightforward so uh, they messed about with her and uh, they did try and get the calf out and the calf was moving at the time but there was just no give in the cow uh, they thought they were going to lose the cow and the calf it was that bad so uh, but the calf died but the cow survived so uh, you can probably see uh, they made the pen up already, so today's video, we are going to move some cattle around. We'll go and take a look, because uh, they're running out of space up in this shed, so we're going to move these guys here. We're going to move these guys into this pen here. Mothers and calves at the end there, they're going to move into this shed here. Uh, that'll free up some space there, and then as these guys have more calves, we can then put them into this shed. And then, once that's full, they'll have enough space between them all then. <clears throat> so it should work out pretty well. Um, let's just have a little look. It's still wet everywhere, so <clears throat> we're still quite far away from drilling. Keithy's tractor's been sent away. It's going to be fitted up for a new drill, so... Uh, They've taken that, they'll fit a new drill to it and then bring us back with a, uh, with a drill attached, hopefully. And uh, when we do come to drilling, we'll have two drills going. So we only have one drill before, so uh, that'll be quite fun to watch and we'll, uh, we'll take you through that as that comes. So let's just have a look at the guys in here. So yeah, they're not crying out for space. But the pen's made up, so we're going to move those guys across. Uh, that'll leave all this shed free then. Uh, there's still a few calves in there that we can move into here, but they've got to be tagged and uh, before we can do that. So I don't know if we'll do that today. We need to do now is go and find the farm. So, um, being a Saturday, it's just um, myself, the farmer, and uh, the farmer's dad in today. So, just be three of us. We've got all the young cars here. Hang on, let's have a look. Oh, I've got to climb right over. Oh. These are the uh, latest additions. These are yet to be tagged, so they'll be tagged soon. Yeah, the farmer was pretty gutted about the uh, dead calf, but you can't save them all. As much as you want to, you just can't. And to at least save the cow, hang on, what's going on up here? Oh no. Oh no, she's sleeping. Okay. It's alright, we've got a young... We've got a girl here, she's about to, um, she's about to uh, give birth. 
I've got to pop that bubble because they'll come out with a bag on their head and they'll, and they'll suffocate. Let me try and sit you down. Right, she's just about to have a calf, so when they come out with a bubble like this, it's quite important to uh, nick the bubble because they'll drop the calf in the bag and uh, the calf will then just drown in its own fluid. So, but now that bag's split, when it comes out, it should, should peel away from it, but we're going to stick around and make sure she's all right. I'm just going to give the farmer a call. No, I'm not, because I ain't got my phone. What's so her number? 262. Now, whilst they're inside the cow, inside the bag, they're all right, apparently. I'm going to go and get the farm and just make sure. Hang on, girl. Right, two seconds. Myself. I come up here, I'm like, oh shit, I'm thinking it's that heifer, I'm thinking she'd cop deal to me. I run up here and then I see uh, she sort of gets up, but there was, the bag was right over his face. As long as you, just, as long as you, as long as you nick the bag, Matt. Yeah. Would the bag, even if I didn't nip it, what would normally happen? Well, it would break and away. 99 times out of 100, it'll break. That fucking 100%. Fucking one, but it don't. And you could, you what easy you lose two a year like yeah. that. Yeah. The, the, I think the fear of it is they, they rely on the feet bloody breaking the bag because the bag will stay still and the calf will push its way out of it, but it don't always happen. The whole lot comes out. Yeah. And they, the old cows just end up quick enough to fucking get it off them. No. Well, if you stand, if it stands up and comes out, the bag stays and goes yeah. there. Yeah. But if it lays down like that, and the cow gets up and the bag don't split. That's what you want. And get a bloody shake of bread like that. That's a good result. Here she is here. Who's this sucker now then? This is her. Let me see the angle. It's her calf too. Oh, that is her. Oh, yeah. I thought it was... Uh... No, 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 it's her calf. I thought you were jabbing the other one. No, no, no. We'll tickle her in there, Matt. Yeah, we want her in that shed. Let me just walk through this place. Yeah. Go on, it. Go on. Go on. Go on. Go on. Come on, mate, might as well take you as well. Alright, yeah. oh, that'll do. Go on, out of way. Go on, out of way. You can smell it, can you smell yeah, it? Yeah, that stinks. Oh, Christ. And why hasn't it come out, Ad? What, what is that? What is this thing dangling in? The fact that you sit in the cows, they would normally, that would just drop out. But we're there, it has it. You can't just tug on it. Yeah, you can. But as you know, they don't pull them out. Right, let's tickle her in, mate. 
She knows what's coming. Yeah, she's good. But he's just that really sucked it up. You didn't suck it, my friend. <laughs> do this, do that. Too much of that round your chops. <laughs> What's that? <laughs> well, that gunk. Yeah, it, that you, you cannot. It, it will just stink, and you cannot get rid of that smell. I'm not touching it. it, it on your, you get it on your hands. On your hands. So, the sandwich is up in a point. Really, really close to. So where, what is this connected to then? Right, that's the bag that the calf was born in. And where is it connected inside? To the to a u uterus, I should imagine. So instead of it coming away from her body, if it could, and drop out, yeah. it hasn't. And what's this injection do then? It helps it, does it? Antibiotic. No. Because that will get infected? Yeah. Exactly that. And what did the vet say yesterday? She said they can't do it no more. They can't pull them out. Right. They don't release it. Uh, so what they used to do was just wriggle with their fingers and everywhere that the bag is connected to them, they would ease it away hmm. and then pull that out. Yeah. And they're saying the modern way of thinking is they're thinking they do more damage doing that oh, right. than they do more damage doing that then leaving it. Uh, leaving it in. And what she's open is that it rots. What she's open is it rots and um, come out naturally. Yeah. That's what they're open. Hold <coughs> well, on, mate, she can go. Sweet, that's all. She ain't going to be too keen to... Right, She ain't going to be too keen to... Come back in another go. Well, that hasn't been too bad for her, has it? No. But she... You can do, every day she comes in, she's not... It's worse and worse, yeah. So we can get this, just get, if you could just get that plastic chucked up that end or something, mate, yeah, yeah. anyway. Let me just see what they got the top stood on, mate. Right, they got that stood on block, so if you could stand that on block, it's the same, but that end, yeah. that'd be fucking sweet. Just uh, lift it on the top. Same as it is there, with that pipe up that way, on the outside. Yeah. Yeah, just pick it up on the tines and so pick the blocks up. So,
No, he looks a bit. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. No, yeah, heads down, tails down. Come on. car from earlier the uh, stuff hanging out the car is a cleansing that'll fall away and uh, we haven't done nothing to that car she's up under her sucking that's just what you want to see we won't even have to touch her we'll give her a bit of blue spray on their navel and that will uh, it'll dry up her navel she won't have no problems there but she's quite a big car I'm just on a Girl. the uh, end of the video all the cows and calves are now back in here even the one that escaped the one that escaped was originally from uh, the shed over here I thought she was from here so uh, we had to then get her back out and put her in the right place otherwise uh, her mum would be calling for her and uh, yeah it just uh, creates a bit of havoc we set up a um, there's a crush in there for the calves in there. They're all having a kit now. These fences, we put these gates along here. Try to stop the calves getting out, but they'll still get out of the um, they'll still get out of the main uh, feeding holes. So we don't really. Uh, there'll always be one or two that get out every now and again. Uh, but those gates there, we can then filter them back into the right pens then. Uh, and the cows have now got the run of the two sheds so uh, 
as there's more calves, what we'll do again is flip that in half. Young calves will be in this side. And then all these guys, they'll have their calves. And then eventually after they've all calved, they'll, we'll just have the run of that shed then. And then it'll be soon time to put them out, hopefully. Well, a bit ahead of ourselves there. That'll be in May, I'd have thought. We'd have put them out if we can get the weather right. Anyway, thanks for watching. If you liked the video, please put a thumbs up and subscribe if you enjoyed it. Thanks very much. We'll see you on the next one.